All right, antler trader shed hunting tip of the week, how to cross a fence. There's multiple ways we can do this, folks, but today I'm gonna demonstrate two, only two, and then you'll have to wait till next week to catch up on the rest, or week, whenever I decide to do it. <laughs> so the first method is the over. There's a couple things you wanna be sure of when you do it this way. First off, you wanna make sure when you grab the fence, you don't grab the little barbs on it. That's why it's called a barbed wire fence. The second thing you want to do, you want to watch the uh, the nether region, the crotch right up in here, the crotchal area. Kibbles and bits. Yeah, you don't want to catch those on the barbed part of the barbed wire fence. It's going to rip your pants or, or cause some severe damage that you don't want to hike in. So, the first method, and you can go left or right depending on what hand you're better at. I'm a right hander, so my right foot's gonna do all the pushing to get my left foot up over this. Take your hand, put it carefully between the two barbs. Take your other hand, do the exact same, and you wanna push down with, you don't wanna just stand here and push on it. You actually wanna bend over and push with it. Get your weight in there, the whole upper body. That way, when you go down, it stays there so you can continue to push and then you want to throw your leg as high as you can over. Like I said, keep track of that nether region right there, the crotchal area. Once you're here, this is the make or break it. This is where you got to really get that right foot pushed up and high. And you want to push it high and go over just like that. And there you have it. That's one way to get over a chain or barbed wire fence. The second way, We'll go back over the first way. That way I'm coming at you. The second way, you want to find your good sturdy post. Seems about sturdy enough. Clear all the brush around it. Just so it's one less thing to trip on. Same thing, you want to get between the barbs that are on the barbed wire fence with your right hand. And your left foot, you can go on the first one, the second one, the third one. Hell, you can do the fourth one. This is more comfortable for me, but just so everybody else can do it, because not everybody's a professional fence crosser, I'm gonna go on the second one up from the bottom. Get your left hand there and same thing, get that weight over the top of you, push down. Make sure you got a good firm grip on the post, on the shaft right here. And you wanna lift up with your left and you can go two feet on it, or you can go swing over right here. You gotta keep track of that crotchal area. Make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, never mind, we're good. Just throw that left leg. And this is how you rip gloves, see that? And there you have it, folks. That's your two tips of the day on how to cross a barbed wire fence.